I have a complaint. It's, uh, it's to do with a company that's pretty well known. And I, I think they're excellent products that they put out. I really do. But there is a stipulation. And uh, a lot of people are unaware of that. So, uh, ARP. ARP makes head bolts, rod bolts, main cap bolts, studs. They make all that. And But the stipulation is you're not supposed to just torque these bolts down to factory specs or whatever your car is. They have their own torque spec for that application. But there's nothing to tell you that. There's no warning. There's no anything. Um, and I discovered this by accident, totally. Uh, I was just on the internet one night, fooling around on my phone, and I came across a Mopar site that had some threads and had some interesting conversation about all this stuff. And somebody was talking about it a couple months ago, and uh, it raised a red flag, a big red flag, because my engine is in the truck together, running, okay? In fact, I got about 60 miles on it now. So, they, they said that ARP, uh, like for this truck, if you're going to put main cap bolts and use their main cap bolts, they want it torqued at 110 foot-pounds. And they want it with the, uh, before you do the line home. That means the block has to be at the machine shop and torque to 110 with their bolts and then run the home through there, see? Oh, well, if you don't know that ahead of time and you just put your engine together and torque everything to factory specs, which is what a whole lot of people do, using ARP bolts, because they're a little stronger, a little better, I guess, in some, some respects, uh, they're racing bolts. They're probably not necessary for relatively stock engines, but if you're making a thousand horsepower, I guess you might want to do that. But uh, you have to go to their website if, to learn this information because their packages do not say anything about that. I can look on, you can look on here, and it doesn't say a thing. And uh, when you go to ARP and you call them, they say, you got to look on our website. Well, there's nothing to tell you that. And if you turn over the package, uh, it doesn't say anything about really anything. Most repetable, consistent, high-performance fastener lubricant. They talk about this lubricant. They don't tell you anything about, uh, you better check your torque recommendation. Uh, well, what they do say, let's see. Follow the inst installation instructions and torque recommendation for your application. Well, to me, that's like, well, I already know what it is. It's 85 on a, on a Chrysler. That goes for small blocks and big blocks, 85. I've known that for 40 years. I have a picture to prove that. Look at this picture. This is me back in high school, which was 1980 in a 70 Barracuda with a 383 four-speed that I personally overhauled that engine. I got that car, the engine was tired, and I overhauled it. Now, judging by what you're seeing there, does it look like it's having any problems with main cap bolts? Or any other problems, for that matter? Hell to the no. That car hauled ass. So, that's what I'm trying to say. I want everybody to know well, not just that car, but I got countless other ones. I never stopped fooling with these since high school. I've done so many engines now. I'm probably getting close to 100. Literally, Ford, Pontiac, Oldsmobile, Chevrolet, Chrysler. I've done it just about everything. I don't think I've been through a Buick, but it's all the same. It's, it's not an issue for me. So why do I need to go to their website to know how to torque down a main cap bolt. I've done it for 40 years with a torque wrench. It's not a big deal. So I called ARP with this complaint. 
They admitted to me they don't know what would happen using their boats at only 85 foot-pounds of torque. They don't know. They said maybe the natural harmonics of the engine would eventually cause these bolts to loosen up. I said, oh, really? Well, that's what the guy said. He said, there's probably a time when you can safely feel like it's good, like a year down the road. Probably, that's probably right. A year down the road, if you've got substantial miles on it, uh, and it still hasn't dropped a bolt and caused the cap to fall into the oil pan, uh, you know, if they, one loosens up, the other one's going to, and you'll lose oil pressure right there. It'll just drop. I, I can't have that. That's just not going to work. So I, I don't know anything else to do except take those a ARP bolts out of there and replace them with factory bolts that you can just torque to 85 foot-pounds. And uh, come over here to this oil pan, if you would, please, by the way. These are the 80, these are the... That's the ARP bolt. There's nothing wrong with it. And actually, it was tight when I took it out. It was tight. I got about 60 miles on it. And the factory bolt is this. They're brand new. So... Nothing wrong with that. That's basically what comes in the 318s. Well, even 273s, 318s, 340s, 360. All those uh, small block LA motors. And that's what I'm putting in here now. Let me take you under the truck. And I'll show you what I've done thus far. Uh, sorry to make everybody dizzy trying to get under here, but... I have done the front one, the second one back, and the third one now. But I still have to take that one and this back one. That's got to come out. So, luckily on these Dodge trucks, there's pretty good clearance between the cross member and the engine. But, you know, I, I just... I just can't deal with worrying about all that. And there are ARP bolts in these connecting rods. There sure is. On those, you got to torque them to 50. Even though the factory says 45, you got to torque these ARP rod bolts to 50 foot-pounds. I've already done that. And uh, so that's the deal with these things. If you've got ARP bolts in your engine, you need to consider uh, what they say compared to what the factory says. And uh, I'm going to take you back out of here. Hand this. So. It's a problem. If your engine's already together and it's been together for five years or anything like that, I guess I wouldn't worry about it. There's probably a lot of people with ARP bolts in their engines that they didn't know about torquing them down to 110 foot-pounds, and they're fine. ARP's suggestion, when I called them, they said, go ahead and torque these bolts down to 110 and see if the crank still spins. That's what they tell me. I'm not doing that. And, uh, you know, even if it did spin, how do you know? You don't have a, a little bind of one of the main bearings and it'll prematurely wear in that spot. You know, it tweaks the block when you keep cranking on it like that, especially down in the crank area, of course. Uh, and you don't know, what if it doesn't spin? What if the crank doesn't spin like it did? And you loosen the bolts up and it's still like that because you've actually tweaked the block. I mean, could you think of anything more screwed up than that in your life? Well, probably, but that's pretty bad. So uh, that's what this video is about, to educate people, 
If you use ARP bolts, make sure you line, hone, or bore whatever you gotta do. You don't really have to line bore, I don't believe. Uh, if you have your main caps, then you don't have to line bore. But you do have to uh, line hone if you're gonna use their bolts with your block, and it has to be, at least on these small block Chryslers, they want 110 foot-pounds while you run the line hone through there. Then you're good. Only then are you good, according to ARP. So I was at 85 with their bolts and they spooked me when they said they don't really know what could happen. The harmonics could eventually loosen them up and down the road, might be a few months or a year, I don't know. They just start falling out. So that's a, that's a huge problem and uh, I just don't want to think about it. So I put, I'm putting the stock bolts in it. I got two more caps to go, and they're all done. They're at 85. Uh, they will be all at 85. And I'll put the pan bag on, and it's good. So uh, with that, I hope somebody's, hope I've helped somebody, maybe prevented people before they send their block to the machine shop to know that and make sure their machinist knows that because I've talked to people that just said, I never knew that. I never knew that. And they've been working on cars like me for 40 years and they said they'd never heard of that. I mean, that, you know, that's right. So anyway, I appreciate you listening. Please like and subscribe. I'll have some more videos for you shortly.